So today I'll explain to you how to use the Wayback Machine Downloader and uh, there are actually um, the Wayback Machine Downloader can actually refer to two different things they're both doing the same um, but it's it's I think most people they're talking about this uh, Ruby uh, script that's called the Wayback Machine Downloader there's also a website called the Wayback Machine Downloader um, where did I store that? Uh, here you go. Here it is. Um, so <coughs> there's also a website called the Wayback Machine Download. They basically do the same thing, uh, except that this one you have to pay for. Uh, they do have a free demo, and this one is free. Um, this one is uh, more difficult to use, though, because you have to install Ruby first, and then you got to use your uh, command line. Interface to like um, execute these commands. Um, so you know, if if you want to do it the simple way, then uh, you just got to pay for it, and uh, or you can actually use the free version as well. Sometimes the free version is enough depending on your needs. So let's say I'll just show you the free version because I don't want to pay for it right now. So you go to the app, the archive, and you know you type in your domain. So blah blah blah. Uh, you type, you, I mean, I can do it again. It's really for people who have never done this. So you actually, you know, you type in apple.com. Let's say you want to see the, let's say you're a huge Apple fan and you want to see the website from Apple in uh, when they were doing really bad in the year 1998. And, you know, then you actually <coughs> see this one. Pretty cool to see. Um, actually, Apple was almost bankrupt at this time, but that's not the point. Um, so anyway, so you get this this URL. You just copy it, and you go to the that website. Yeah, you can also go to the free demo if you want to. Um, but you know, you just fill in the URL out here, and you. Um, type in your email and then send download link and uh, well I already did that so then you get this email which I'll show you out here yeah this is it <coughs> so dear customer you made a request to generate an HTML version of this archive website blah, blah, blah. your order will be ready in 10 to 15 minutes actually a lot less depending on the number of active users after the scraping process has finished you will be able to download the files via this page so then you when you click on this link and so it will take you here this is exactly the same URL as the one in the email and it will open the index.html and you can see uh, what this looks like and let me use a little bit more you can download all files so then you will get um, <coughs> you'll see all the all the files uh, or you can like, save and preview below or you can save and preview in new window uh, please click preview button to preview index.html in new window um, so yeah and if you go and click on one of these links let's say you want to go to the Apple Store it won't work because like it's the free demo other time yeah anyway so you can do that and then you'll see that it will show you visit other Google sites around the United States. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but you can edit it and you can use it and upload it to your own server. So uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, anyway, so whether you use the script or this one, uh, both work fine.